What's up, gorgeous people? The Zambazars DIY and other stuff. My name is Amber Meeks, and in today's video, we are going to test out making some cake pops with some Little Debbie snack cakes. <laughs> now, I've done this before with Twinkies, and it worked out so incredibly well, so I was curious if I tried some other snack cakes, if it would work just as good as the Twinkies did. So I picked out some Strawberry Shortcake Rolls by Little Debbie and the Devil Creams by Little Debbie. Now, I gotta say, I'm nervous about the Strawberry Shortcake Rolls because they have jam in there, so that just might totally throw off the consistency for the cake pop, but we're going to give it a try and see if it works and if it does yay if not mm, oh well it was a good try so without further ado let's jump into making some cake pops with the little debbie snack cakes okay guys so the first thing i want to try are these strawberry shortcake rolls now i'm not sure that these are going to work the way that i need them to because they have the cream and the jam in there so because the jam's in there this may make this uh cake pop dough stuff be a consistency that's really not going to work but we're going to give it a go so let's see how this turns out Okay, the first thing that I want to do is take these Nestle Toll House white chocolate morsels and I'm going to pour them into my chocolate pro so that the chocolate is melted and ready for me to dip the cake pops by the time I'm done making them. Now, I usually use candy melts for this, but unfortunately, they didn't have any candy melts at the store I was at and I didn't have time to go anywhere else, but I suggest candy melts. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do here is go ahead and just unwrap all of these strawberry shortcake rolls and just dump them into my mixing bowl. Now, a mixing bowl is probably the best thing to use for this, but if you don't have a stand mixer like this one you can always use a hand mixer but I would definitely not try to do this by hand because I think you would have a very difficult time getting it to be the consistency we need it to be so now that I have them all dumped in there I'm just going to go ahead and turn on my mixer and cross my fingers and hope for the best <laughs> So anytime you're mixing stuff, you're just going to want to make sure that you scrape the sides and the bottom of your mixing bowl just to make sure that everything is getting mixed up properly. That's what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to turn it on one more time and then we'll see what we have to work with. I was at the wrong place at the right time. Because suddenly they... Okay, so after I mix it up that first time, this is the consistency that I have, and I just don't think that this consistency is going to work. It's really sticky, and I just don't think it's going to work out. So what I'm going to do is add some flour and see what that does to it. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this up and see what we got after adding a little bit of flour. Okay, so after mixing up that little bit of flour, it's still not the right consistency. So I just bravely add some more flour. And my hope here is that it doesn't taste like flour by the time I'm done adding the amount of flour I'm going to need to, to try to get this to be the consistency that I want it to be. And honestly, guys, it's still not exactly the right consistency after I'm done mixing it. See me rolling it into a ball here, but I got it into the ball. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to add just a tiny bit more flour because I'm so afraid that it's going to taste like flour. And and then I'm just going to roll with whatever it looks like after I do this. So once it's all mixed up for the final time, I take a little bit of it and rolling it into a ball is a good way to know whether or not this is going to work. It's still a little sticky, but you know what? I'm going to roll with it because I was just so afraid that it was going to taste like flour. Here's me doing a little taste test. It tasted fine. So we're going to move on. Okay. What I'm showing you here is that I took some wax paper and I lined a cookie sheet with it because we need a place to place the cake balls as we're forming them. This is the best way to do this so that it's not on stick and they're not going to stick to the pan or anything like that. So now I'm taking a cookie scoop so that I can get all of the cake balls roughly the same size and I'm just going to roll them into a ball and place them on the cookie sheet. Now look at this. As I'm pulling this apart, I can tell you this right now, this is totally not the right consistency, but I'm going to roll with it and I'm just going to hope for the best. So I'm just going to place all of these little cake balls onto the cookie sheet and then after I do that, I'm going to place them in the fridge for, oh, this one I placed for a long time because this is so sticky. I think I left it in the fridge for about 30 minutes okay so this is what they're looking like after they've been in the fridge they're looking pretty crazy and none of them are even close to being the right size so now I'm checking on my chocolate and the chocolate pro here and it's always too thick always 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 too thick so what you need to do to thin this out is take some vegetable oil and pour just a little bit in at a time making sure that you mix it thoroughly each time so that you don't have any like oily look or anything like that to the chocolate and then just take your spoon and kind of you know let it fall down to see if it's going to be 
dippable for you. So here's me at the very end of this process. And I'm just going to take my spoon and look. That's about what I want it to look like. So we're just going to roll with that. Now I've taken my cake pops out of the refrigerator. They're pretty good. So we'll see how this goes. But they're totally not the right shape. So I'm taking these paper straws that I bought from Amazon. I'm dipping them into the chocolate. And I'm going to put them into the cake pop just like that. So I'm going to continue to do that with all of these cake pops. And I'm going to show you a close up of this just so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, after putting all the sticks in, I placed them back in the fridge for about 15 minutes, took them back out, and now they're ready to be dipped, and they're looking really crazy, but we're gonna dip them in here anyways. And all you wanna do is dip them into the chocolate, and then this is the worst part of the process, guys. You just have to stand here and tap your straw on the side of whatever your, your bowl or whatever you're using until you get all of that excess chocolate off of there. Once you do, you're going to place the cake pop back onto the cookie sheet, and then we're gonna put these back into the fridge for about mm, 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, guys, so here's what they're looking like right outside the fridge. And look at all this excess chocolate you see around the cake pop. That's because I got my chocolate too thin. So just be careful when you're thinning out your chocolate. So I'm going to use these treat bags that I got from Joanne Fabrics. They're a Wilton brand, and they are the perfect size for these cake pops. So I'm just going to go ahead and take one of those off, break it apart, and then I'm going to place the cake pop inside there. And then I'm just going to use this curly ribbon to – normally I don't use the curly ribbon, but that's all I had on hand right now. I normally use like a fabric kind of a ribbon for these but we're just going to roll with this party ribbon and I'm just going to wrap it around here tie it into a bow and then um you know do the little curly cue thing with the scissors now an easier way to do this I really didn't need to do all this excess that I'm doing right here you just really need to tie it into a knot and then do not a knot but just tie it one time and then do the curly cue part with the scissors I made this way harder on myself than I needed to but I'm so used to using the fabric ribbon I kept thinking I needed to tie it into a bow but really I could have skipped the whole bow part and it would have looked a lot better and I actually did that later on. Okay, and to make this look a little bit better, I have these cute stickers that I bought in the theme that we had for the party, and I'm just going to stick those right in the center, and voila, that is ready to roll. So, so now really quickly, I just want to show you the devil creams, and it's going to be the exact same process, but what I want you guys to know is that this is the best choice for cake pops, because you have the cake and the cream. This is going to be the perfect consistency and exactly what we wanted these first ones to turn out like, so I'm going to do the exact same process, guys. I'm just going to unwrap all of these little cakes, and I'm going to place them into the bowl, and then I'm going to mix it together. Just thought I should let you know that I know no one's no more. No, I got so high on a low. That's when I love you the most. Now I thought I should let you know that I know no one's no more. We don't know no one's no more. We don't know no one's no more. Okay, guys, so after I got done mixing it all together, I take a little bit just to see if I can roll it into a ball. And oh my gosh, it's so perfect. It is so perfect. This is how you want it to look. So exact same process, guys. Put my wax paper down, and then I'm just going to roll these into the little balls with the cookie scoop. And I just want to also let you guys know, if you don't have a cookie scoop, you could always use a spoon. That will get you the same idea. I know I have a mess in the background, guys, but my son likes to play in the kitchen when I'm baking because he likes to be where I'm at. All right, guys, unfortunately, I don't have a video of the entire display of the cake pops, and I don't even have a picture of the chocolate cake pops. Those ones went so incredibly fast, but I do have this one of the strawberry cake pops. So this was the overall look, but the chocolate ones looked a lot better because they were the right consistency, so they became the right shape, where this one is a little, you know, distorted and not looking the, exactly the way that they should look. But I do gotta say they tasted delicious, even though they these ones didn't look that great. The chocolate ones looked great and tasted great so I don't know you guys just pick and choose hopefully you found some inspiration from this idea and I hope that you guys give this a try that's all I got for you in this video and I'll catch you in my next one bye well I found a shortcut with the Twinkies and I was super stoked about it because all you have to do is unwrap all the Twinkies put them in the little uh pan um okay try it again if I can find some that'll work, that's going to cut out a lot of time and save me a ton. Okay, I said that wrong. <laughs> Try it again. Without further ado, let's jump into this. I ruined it at the end. I don't know what to say. 
It's not a DIY cake pop making thing. <laughs> All right, try it again.